as I screamed triumphantly to the sky that I was going to build power armor. I've not gotten far. Of course, I've been having family drama. That doesn't make anything easier on anybody. But this is what I was looking at for the, the knee joint. And significant other sleeping in the living room. So, this was printed um, with 50% infill and a double thick shell. And um, <coughs> um, robust doesn't do it justice. That was everything, everything to break it. And it broke at the thinnest point. Focus. Let my focus on. It fell on the wall. It fell focus on. You can see the, the piece. Yeah, that's not too bad. It, I was, I was expecting it to fail here, in the hinge, somewhere, in here. That didn't fail, and it failed here. That's impressive. All I gotta do is print this out as a solid piece. I think. Um, well. You know, Now, my other idea is that I print this as separate pieces and have a through, comes all the way through and have the hinge or a mount point on this side where I can, it mounts through this. And then I want to have a coil spring inside this to give some passive strength to it. So maybe I could get it strong enough to where it might be able to support itself. This was uh, a test and, you know, it didn't. I don't have the greatest print quality. You know, see, this is really bad surface uh, um, finish. It's really bad finish on it. But if it's gonna sort of fell like that, that's manageable. I can just make the wall thicker. That's no big deal. And see, that's kind of just in general. It's a little weak, but. That's where I hit it. That's pretty tough. A uh, little hinge there. Um, we might have a contender for the abuse that I want to give it. I've got three more designs I want to test out. <laughs> 